am Ajit Khan and in this tutorial we are going to learn about docker. So we are going to see what is docker, how to install it and uh, how to run some basic commands to get familiar with docker. So let's get started with it. I have written a blog post about it. So I'll walk you through the blog post and will give you the intro about docker. So uh, you, you might have heard of docker many times and uh, you must be wondering what it is and how it works. So if you, are, uh, if you haven't got it what it is then don't worry I'll walk you through it. So uh, right from its official website docker containers wrap a piece of software in a complete file system that contains everything it, ne it needs to run that is code, runtime, system tools, system libraries anything you can install on a server so this will guarantee that uh, your code will always run the same regardless of the environment it is running on quite difficult to understand so let's cut the crap and let's get to the point so in general docker is a tool designed to create run and deploy your application with the help of containers so uh, for now what it is it is a tool to create run and deploy your application with the help of containers now you must be thinking what is containers so containers are the running instance of docker images and uh, now what is docker image so docker images are the immutable frozen file which is a snapshot of containers and are generated by the build command in docker so uh, in docker you uh, you will write certain uh, piece of code in YML format and uh, when you run docker build command it will generate an image and if uh, when that image is run uh, when it is running it is known as containers so uh, take it the other way like um, in in java uh, so classes are there and objects are there so what you can assume is images as the classes and container as the objects or the instance of that class so for now you have to uh, just uh, remember that containers are the running instances of docker images and docker images are the uh, file or a snapshot uh, for for a particular container generated by the build command okay so now comes the question uh, what is docker engine so you must be aware of it docker engine is a part of docker which creates and run docker containers so uh, containers are being managed by docker engine now uh, you must have heard of vagrant right so now uh, vagrant is those who haven't so vagrant is a tool to create configure lightweight reproducible and portable development environment so it is basically uh, designed to manage your application uh, in the development environment and uh, so the difference between docker and uh, vagrant is vagrant works on virtualization whereas docker works on containerization so uh, let's go into virtualization and uh, containerization once. So virtualization is like your uh, every virtual machine run on its own operating system with certain allocated resources. So uh, for example, if you are running, uh, if you are running two virtual machine on an operating system then you will uh, it will have a separate environment uh, you need to allocate certain amount of ram and cpu to it and all these environment are provided and managed by uh, a program called hypervisor so uh, basically hypervisor uh, is a firmware to manage the virtual machine the benefit of using this is you get almost a complete separate environment so uh, uh, you get com uh, you get isolation from the host so if there is complete isolation that is one uh, advantage of it and the drawback is that uh, you need to allocate some certain fixed amount of uh, resources so uh, you will be having 
the limited resources which you have been allotted and the hypervisor itself will eat up some resources so that's the drawback of virtualization so it will look on the diagram so here's your infrastructure over it you have your host operating system and your host operating system have hypervisor installed and this hypervisor will manage your virtual machine your, uh, so your virtual machine one will have certain uh, your guest OS it will have its own bins and libs and its own application similarly there will be a other virtual machine now comes containerization so it allows us to run application in isolated partition of single Linux kernel running directly on the physical hardware so uh, so if you see in the diagram infrastructure is there your host operating system is there and docker engine is there which is running your containers your applications so uh, what it have is uh, the application will have isolated environment uh, in the isolated partition of single linux kernel running directly on the physical hardware so there will be a linux kernel Linux C groups and namespaces are used to isolate these environment and uh, manage your containers. So uh, here you will have the benefit is higher performance since there is no hypervisor involved. So your uh, memory won't get eat up by the hypervisor. And um, another benefit is that you don't need to allocate fixed amount of resources to your uh, container. So containers can uh, containers can take the amount of resources they need so uh, did i just say docker uses linux kernel then how can you use it on windows or mac because windows and mac do not have linux kernel so well uh, you can actually use docker on mac and windows also uh, when you install it on mac docker bundles a tiny linux vm which is of approximately 25 mb uh, which act as a wrapper for the container this uh, simply means you can uh, run docker without having any problem and hence uh, you can run it either on mac or windows or whatever you want to so uh, now the question comes we have seen difference between uh, docker and vagrant so which one you should use uh, so the simple answer is if you want to manage machine use vagrant for example if you are managing cloud infrastructure where uh, you have a, a machine over which you uh, you need to give certain virtual machine or the um, or the instances uh, with the fixed amount of uh, allocated resources so in that case you can use virtual machine and if you want to manage and run application then you can use docker for example if you want to uh, deploy and run a rails application or a django application then you can go for docker so docker installation so you know, docker is available for mac windows and linux distributions so here are the links you can uh, you can go for, go on this link and download the individual packages if you are if you want to install it on mac it will give you a dmg file you can install it directly as application in your mac so it also have uh, for windows and it also have support for ubuntu so uh, you can choose it and you can follow the simple instruction and install it uh, so uh, the basic commands in docker are docker hyphen hyphen version docker compose hyphen hyphen version docker machine version and docker run hello world docker and ps uh, so these are certain uh, basic commands so we'll try out them so for now uh, i have already installed docker uh, for my mac so if i run docker i can i can version so it will give me a uh, docker version and uh, if i run docker run hello world to see if everything is good or not so we cannot connect to docker daemon docker daemon is not running on the host so i need to start it so it has been installed as an application so i can simply start it and it will appear over here so docker is starting the 
okay so docker is running now so let's try to run it again so alert from docker this message shows that our installation appears to be working correctly so now let's try out certain uh, commands to check information about the docker installation then run docker info so it will give you the required details contain there are eight containers running r0 paused r0 stopped um, containers are eight total images are 30 server version is this and so on so it will give uh, all the details about its installation and docker And to check if docker installation uh, is properly done or not then you can run docker run hello world which we uh, just did now let's spin up a dockerized web server so we'll run docker run minus d is for demonized process and minus p is for port so we'll be saying that run this on port 80 and we are going to na name the container as web server and we'll be using the image nginx so let's run it so what it will do is it will uh, check if the image nginx image is present or present or not so if it is not there then it will pull it from the docker hub so uh, for now it is not there so it is pulling from library nginx okay and certain things are already exist so it is not downloading them again so uh, since we have specified docker run minus d so the docker uh, the uh, our container must be in running state so if we do docker ps no it is not oh we have got an error web server is already in use by the container okay so uh, since the web server name was already there so uh, I have already rounded it so I just need to run docker start web server so it will uh, it will start the container and you can see the container id is this image is this command is this and created an hour ago and status is up for two seconds so now uh, let's go on the local host and see if the nginx is running or not okay so nginx is running So uh, we just run the command docker ps so what it does is, is uh, it's list out all the containers that, that are running and uh, to list out all the images and stopped containers we need to doc run docker ps hyphen a so it will uh, list out all the stopped containers as well. Now, uh, as you can see, the web server container is running and the Nginx page is live. And uh, to stop it, simply run docker stop web server. Let's go check it out. So, so I cannot read it since the container has stopped. To start it again, we can uh, again run docker start web server. now uh, we have stopped it to stop and remove the container uh, since we have simply stopped it we haven't removed it so to stop it and uh, remove it so let's first run it docker start web server docker ps it's running you can also check the nginx page it is also running now uh, 
since it is running we need to stop it and remove it to do this together uh, we can run the command docker rm minus f web server so uh, the container has stopped and it is being removed Now uh, we have removed the container and uh, it has uh, it has removed the container but the nginx image is still present on the disk because this is because if we ever want to uh, use this uh, image again then it, it will not pull it again from the docker hub so it will be present for the uh, future use. So, but if you want to remove the image as well, then you can run the command docker rmi nginx. So, it has deleted nginx image as well. And uh, if one, uh, if the image is being uh, referenced somewhere else, then it will uh, doing simply docker rmi nginx will give you some error that the con the image is being referenced somewhere else by some container or xyz then uh, it won't get uh, removed easily so in that case you can run docker rmi hyphen f nginx so it will forcefully uh, remove that image so that's all for this tutorial i hope you like this tutorial in future we will try to cover uh, deploying certain uh, application like Ruby on Rails application through Docker. Till then, keep learning and keep sharing. Thanks for watching.